Okay, peace and blessings, you guys. So, this is really like my second attempt, maybe third or fourth, I don't know. Doing this reading today, March, the first day of tour season. So, I, I was in the mood to do a reading. So, here I am. Um, now, the video that I did previously was 27 minutes long. And I had shuffled the cards and everything, as I always do when I um, do a reading. But the sound was garbage. So, therefore, I decided to start this reading over again from scratch. Well, not from scratch, but just to... I've already thrown the cards, so I'm going to go ahead and explain this. First, I want to say welcome back subscribers to my YouTube channel. I want to thank each and every one of you all for your support and your love, uh, your comments, your shares. Everything that you do is truly appreciated. Now, um, I, as of now, I have 885 subscribers and I am overjoyed and I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for your support. Um, today... I am doing a Celtic cross spread. This will probably be one of the last Celtic cross spreads I do for a good long while because, um, quite frankly, I'm bored with doing the same spread. But a lot of people like it, so therefore I do it. It gives a lot of in-depth information. So I will break those cards down for you. Um, as y'all know, my readings that I'm doing now is for the general public, meaning that this applies to anyone who watches it at any given time. Now, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. Some things are not for you, and that's okay. Some things may re resonate very well with you, and that's okay as well. But whatever don't, just leave the rest, okay? Now, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, I will leave my contact information below in, in the either the description box or in the comments. So, without further ado, we can go ahead and get started on this reading. Okay. Now, this is also, again, known as the Celtic Cross Spread. The first card you got was the Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This was in reverse. This is talking about an equal give and take and balance. This is also Moon and Taurus energy. And again, shout out to all Tauruses. Today is the first day of Taurus season. So shout out to all Tauruses and happy birthday to you. Six of Pentacles is your current energy. This is talking about reciprocity, having an equal give and take, making sure that when it comes to the physical, tangible things in life, whether that be your body or your material possessions, you want to have a balance, okay? Now, when it comes to the body, you want to give your body rest, okay? You want to give your body just as much attention and care as you would with your spirit or your mind. Okay, so it's calling for balance when it comes to the body, making sure that you're getting the proper rest, proper sleep, making sure that you're eating properly, those types of things, giving your body the things that it needs. And that's speaking on a physical level. When it comes to um, material possessions, spirit wants to remind you to uh, the word charity. Okay, be charitable to those who are less fortunate than you. Okay, and just keep that balance. And this is how you continue to have your blessings going. This is your current energy. Again, happy birthday, Taurus. The energy that crosses the Taurus and Moon is the Pisces and Saturn. Okay, this is also known as the Eight of Cups energy. Now, the Eight of Cups eight is talking about advancement, and the Cups is talking about matters of the heart. As you can see in this card, someone is walking away from everything. Well, not everything. They're walking away from things that they invested in. You got eight cups standing upright, right? And this person is walking away. That person has on red. This is talking about following passions and pursuits and what your drive is. 
So walking away from things that was invested in, whether it was time, energy, love, whatever the case is. From what I'm seeing is like whatever you're walking away from, it no longer serves you. So you're just going to count your losses and move forward. That's the energy that's crossing you. Maybe that's what in, um, spirit wants to tell you that if there's not an equal give and take when it comes to the body or material possessions, whether you are on the end of lacking or you're the one that's holding back on somebody, this, the advice that's given by spirit is to walk away from what no longer serves you, count your losses and move forward. Something good waits for you on the other side. Now, the subconscious energy, you had the Knight of Swords in reverse, okay? Now, Knights are people who are messengers, okay? They come to bring news. And um, this is Gemini energy. Somebody or something is coming, news is coming to you at a swift and a fast rate. What Spirit is saying with this Knight of Swords in reverse is that, okay, you need to take the time to slow down and think about something. Because somebody may present something to you that may sound too good to be true or is too good to be true. Maybe somebody presenting you, yeah, like I said, with opportunity, just like, oh my God, this is something that don't happen often. Let me jump on this type thing. But Spirit wants to warn you to stop. Stop for a moment. Take the time to think about what it is that is being presented to you and how it's going to serve you. Do you have all the details? Do you know the ins and outs of whatever it is that is being presented to you? If not, you need to take the time to stop and reassess things. Don't take on too much. Don't have on, have on take on too much energy or have your mind occupied with so many things that come at you. You got to really take the time to focus on things that matters. Okay? This is subconscious energy. Gemini energy. Okay? I want to speak on Geminis real quick. Geminis are known as the twins. They're air signs. Mental processes. Like most air signs, indecisive as fuck. And unable to make up their mind on things. So this is something that you want to be mindful of. Maybe this is talking about a particular air sign. Or maybe it might be a placement in your chart. But who child? You need to stop and think for a minute and stop taking on too much. Okay. What is serving you and what's not and what's not serving you no matter how much you like it, no matter how much you desire, it's time to let go. That's your subconscious energy, okay? We're going to come back to this in a minute. Moving forward, the recent past, you had the devil in reverse, right? This is a major arcana card, the devil in reverse. Um, root chakra energy, and also this is uh, Capricorn Maybe Saturn Capricorn energy or Capricorn and Saturn energy, but don't quote me on that. But I do know this is Capricorn energy. A major arcana card, the devil in reverse, which speaks of temptations, illusions, addictions of whatever kind, be it to porn, drugs, um, food, um, sex, whatever the case is. Be mindful of your addictions. Be mindful of being presented with illusions. And the good thing about this card is this. A lot of people, when they see this, especially a lot of religious people, when they see this card, they automatically get scared. Oh, that's evil. Da, 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 da. You open up Pandora's box. Ah, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. No. The devil is a whole fucking joke in this card. You understand? You don't even look like something to be taken serious. It's more like a joke, right? And you see how loose the chains are around the neck. What this is saying to you as an individual is that, you know, you may be tempted. You may be faced with temptations. You may be dealing with addictions or whatever kind. But really, it's an illusion and it don't have a hold on you. Mind over body, okay? I also pick up root chakra energy, okay? Lower level or lower nature energy. And um, I, when I look at your current card and I see this uh, scale, where that scale at? 
He holding the scale, the Libra scale, right? Okay. This is talking about balance, right? You want to have balance. You want to be balanced in what you're doing. So, in order to do that, you need to let go hmm, of things that no longer serve you. You understand? Walk away from shit that no longer serve you. Addictions, people, whatever the case is. It ain't serving you. It's time to let go. Spirit is really calling you to let go of things, okay? That was your recent past, right? Um, yeah, that was your recent past. Your conscious energy, which I told you we were going to come back and visit this card of the Knight of Swords. Because, and that was also in reverse. Then, um, your conscious energy, you got the Four of Swords. This was also in re reverse. Okay, so Four of Swords is talking about rest, recovery. See, someone has been dealing with overthinking, having a lot of shit on their mind. They used to not talking things out. They're not used to expressing their emotions and the things that they're going through. So they hold it all up here. That is dangerous. Do you understand? And I feel like I'm talking to somebody in particular. It's dangerous to hold everything up here. Because what happens is it, it all gets jumbled together. You ever had too many clothes? So many clothes that you didn't know what was clean and what was dirty. Yeah, that type of situation. So what Spirit is calling calling you to do is to rest and to walk away from things that no longer serve you. You need to just take a mental break. Might need to go into hermit mode or isolation to reassess your life and the things that you entertain and the things and the people that you allow into your energy. That is something worth looking at. Okay, um, oh, yeah, reassess, go back in, doing too much too fast, moving fast, your ass tired now, look at you, you need to rest now, get your rest, stop damn doing too much, you need to rest, okay, that's subconscious and conscious energy, that is Gemini, and a Libra energy. Both are air signs. It has everything to do with the mind and mental processes. Okay. So as a Libra myself. I'm giving you the advice as well as spirit. Is to tell you to take the time to rest. Four of swords. Four is always speaking of stability. Okay. Give yourself stability by taking a load off. Giving yourself a mental break. Okay, moving forward, the near future, you have the Six of Swords, okay? Also, that I take notice of is that you had the Six of 